It's hard to be your best when you're hungry. During the months of the pandemic, one in 10 Colorado households with children reported that in the past week, they did not have enough food to eat. Nutrition insecurity is both a national and state issue that must not go unchecked. Hi, this is Mara Fleischman, the CEO of the Chef Ann Foundation. Over the last two years, we have seen the pandemic expose the need for school meals for all kids. We have seen districts like Boulder Valley School increase their average daily participation upwards of 30%. This is because the free and reduced meals program that is provided by the federal government misses a large group of families in need of support. If we don't provide the barest necessity, which is nutrition for kids in our country, how can we expect them to have an equal chance to thrive and meet their true potential? Now is the time we have seen the need Prior to the pandemic, 40% of Colorado school children were eligible for free or reduced price meals. We know school meals are a key source of nutritious meals for Colorado's children, and sometimes the only meals those children have in a day. When schools shut down for the pandemic and household food insecurity skyrocketed, the temporary changes in increased funding to school food programs provided the opportunity to observe the positive impacts of providing universal school meals to all Colorado children. What did we learn? Hi, my name is Dan Sharp. I am a school nutrition director in Mesa County, Colorado. COVID has provided us a glimpse of what healthy school meals can be. School cafeterias free of stigma, students receiving local and statewide sourced foods, higher levels of learning, and decreased hunger. Research has long shown the academic, behavioral, and physical health benefits of ensuring all children have regular healthy meals, and yet many Colorado children go through their day with an empty stomach. In my view, the most significant positive aspect of universal meals for Colorado children is improved food access for all, especially for all of those families in the middle income bracket who make above the threshold to qualify for free and reduced meals, but still have a squeezed family budget for food. Universal school meals are associated with higher test scores, healthier, happier kids, and the opportunity to ensure that not only the most vulnerable children, but all children in our communities are cared for in the cafeterias. Imagine any student who joins the lunch line receives a delicious, nutritious meal at no cost, no questions asked, no stigma, no shame meals, and no worries about whether they'll be able to eat today. Long story short, Universal school meals provide a promising model for improving the health and well-being of our children, our school systems, and our state. To learn more, you can see our issue brief and others at the Colorado Food System Advisory Council website.